All right, New England is known for having some of the most beautiful and vibrant fall foliage in the world. And now everyone in the world will be able to enjoy it. That's because there's a new show coming to PBS next week. It's called Autumn Watch New England. Joining us now is travel expert Samantha Brown, one of the co-hosts of the three-day series. Thanks so much for being with us on Better Connecticut. It is so good to be here. We are in New England. Yeah, you know, I think of this, this is the leaf peeping <laughs> <Exactly>. time. <laughs> and I imagine that there are so many sites, you know, that we have on our calendar of like, oh, let's go here. These are the classic spaces. Mm -hmm. But uh, tell us what you're going to show us. Maybe we'll see something new. Yeah, so the whole campsite, the live event is in New Hampshire on Squam Lake. So I don't know if you've uh, ventured that far north. I'm a New Hampshire girl, and you are so right. There's so much of the whole New England uh, autumn experience that I don't know because I, I stayed close to New Hampshire. So we are going to show you things in all six of New England states, uh, the, of the New England states, whether it's uh, animals or customs, the foods, the festivals, from the Freiburg Festival in Maine to the Pumpkin Festival in New Hampshire. I was just in your state in Connecticut to see the tree swallow migration. I don't know if you know anything about that. I don't. But you're I don't. about to find out. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. I didn't either. So your your audience has to watch because uh, the whole migration of animals happens right over your state across the Connecticut River. About nine million birds cross over uh, the Connecticut River on their way to South America or someplace warm and wonderful. Huh. But I just, uh, that, you make such a good point. There's so much we can, even as New Englanders, really enjoy and discover about autumn in New England. And food, too. I saw a <laughs> s'more in the video. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I mean, pumpkin. I don't know about you, but I'm one of those pumpkin fanatics. Me and it too. only gets worse and worse every year. It started out as pumpkin pie, then it turned into pumpkin soup, and then pumpkin lattes, pumpkin beer, pumpkin whoopie pies. If pumpkin's in it, I have to eat it. It's just, we, I have to pull the car over and stop. Pumpkin <laughs> donuts, I, I'm, I'm there. So uh, we'll be showing a lot of pumpkin as well. So Bob, <laughs> Bob Poole and Chris Packham, they're going to be joining you on this journey? Yes, they are. So Chris Packham is the uh, a British host, and BBC has been doing Autumn Watch and Spring Watch for 20 years. Wow. This is the first time they have brought their entire production to the United States. Now, I'm the American host, uh, but they are also going to be televising it to Britain during their 8 p.m. primetime hour. So there's actual dual uh, 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 live telecasts going on. So it is an event. <laughs> So if, if we sit down and watch, do we need to sit down and watch it every episode as it's going on? Or will there, I mean, is there an on-demand function? Or what do you suggest to make sure we don't miss anything? Absolutely, you have to watch it live. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I, uh, no, you know, we really wanted, so, you know, I, we will be able to stream this for two weeks on PBS.org if you missed it. But the whole idea is that, you know, we can, you know, we, we, we ingest content now on demand and whenever we want and we binge watch things three months down the road. Autumn is here, it's now, and then it's gone. So this live event, why it is live and not just a tape segment, uh -huh. is to show that emotional value of people, slow down, watch this beautiful spectacle that we get to experience every year but only once a year and enjoy and it's going to be a, uh, tell us a little bit about the live experience it's going to be basically on squam lake around a campfire Yes. So at 8 p.m., you come to me and, and my, my co-host, Chris Packham, and we are around a beautiful campfire to really set the tone and the stage for the stories you're about to see. We have a lot of live in-studio segments as well as pre-taped segments that we go to, whether it's Moose in Maine or the Great White Shark off the coast of Cape Cod or me with tree swallows. And then we have state-of-the-art technology, cameras that are able to capture the nocturnal behavior of animals because most animals are nocturnal, and we get to see it as clear as day. It's not that sort of creepy surveillance camera <laughs> action that you usually see at night. We can see what they're doing. So um, it's a part of a world that we don't get to see because we're either going to bed or we don't want to venture out in the woods because we're scared. We're going to bring that to you so you understand the wonderment and the joy of the wildlife of this region. Where's your teleprompter in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> I have a large moose holding okay. car, cue cards. Yeah, the moose can hold the cue card. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. Uh, Thank you very much. Okay. And you can catch Autumn Watch New England on PBS live for three nights. It's next week, so mark this down. Well, it'd be a great thing to watch with your kids. Absolutely. Wednesday, October 17th, Thursday the 18th, and Friday the 19th, all from 8 to 9 p.m. So it's not always a lot of time, you know, great things to watch with a family that on TV. Is totally this is it. Fantastic. Yeah.